Hello folks, this is David Hurley of EasyChessTips.com and in this video I'm going to have another look at the Maroc C Defence Pawn Grab. Not in its pure form, but a kind of variation that happens a bit later in the game than normal. So the Maroc C Defence Pawn Grab is a situation that arises uh, when white opens with e4 and black responds with d6. Um, a typical Maroxi goes uh, e4, d6, d4, e5, and you have this, uh, the white advances the pawn to d5. And then the knight comes out, and we have this typical Maroxi setup. Uh, in the game I blogged about uh, a few months ago, uh, we came to this position by transposition. So the Maroxi kicks in if uh, white decides on the fifth move to move bishop to uh, g5. In this situation, black can achieve a very nice advantage by surprising white, I should think, by capturing the d5 pawn, which appears to be very solidly defended. But in fact, the weakness is in the exposed bishop over here. But what I discovered in my most recent game against my regular opponent was that this Maroxi style pawn grab can occur a bit later on in the game. And that is what I want to show you uh, in today's video. Okay, so my opponent was white and opened with e4, and I responded with uh, d6. We then have d5. Now, this is not a pure Maroxi, it's a Maroxi by transposition, because I delayed my e5 move. But then my opponent advanced his pawn, so now we have that uh, same setup where if my opponent brings his bishop out in the fifth move to uh, g5, I can play the wonderful Maroxi pawn grab. But in our game, it didn't look as if it was going to happen because our development was a bit different from in the previous game. Uh, my opponent developed his knight. I castled brings the bishop out to, uh, where's that, c4. I'm preparing to kick the bishop away. The pawn comes down. Now I kick the bishop away. Anyway, I, I'm aiming to get my knight over to, uh, to b6. Castles, b6, and suddenly... Look at this, a potential Maroxi situation has come about. We have the Maroxi set up, but with more pieces developed. So it's a more complex um, situation to analyze. How did I respond? I had a good look. I thought, I reckon I can still grab this pawn and achieve an advantage, even though more stuff is, is uh, out. So that's what I did. And in post-game analysis, I was very happy to see that the engine thoroughly approved, gave it the best move. And then my opponent made it very easy for me now to bring home my Maroxi bonus. I was simply able to get my knight out of trouble. And what we had here was... Um, a bishop for a bishop and a pawn. So pure Maroxi, uh, giving me a nice advantage coming into the middle game. So that's what we did. Um, my opponent's response to the Maroxi was not ideal. It would probably have been better to have gone this way. And then for me, to so this this uh, knight is defended and now there are two pieces attacking my bishop so how about if i take the bishop with my bishop and then the knight captures the bishop 
And what do I do now? Now I grab the knight with my queen. OK. And so now we have, again, a pawn advantage, plus one, as it says down here, uh, a bishop and a knight for a bishop, knight and a pawn. So there we are. A Maroxi style pawn grab can occur a bit later in this kind of setup than I had realized. That's all from me, David Hurley of EasyChessTips.com. Until next time.